This last weekend, 47 members of the Kentucky Air National Guard's 123rd Civil Engineer Squadron deployed to the North Carolina Regional Training Center to do job-specific training to enhance their wartime operations capability. The engineers trained on electrical and water distribution systems, GPS surveying equipment, various heavy equipment operations, and airfield damage repair. I'm uh, Lieutenant Colonel Phil Howard. I'm uh, the commander of the 123rd Civil Engineering Squadron at uh, Louisville, Kentucky. What we do here is, uh, what we're practicing on today is ADAR, Airfield Damage Assessment and Repair. And behind me you'll see uh, the guys are now cleaning up a crater. They've been working on it for a couple of hours. And what we do is uh, when the airfield is uh, damaged by, uh, in this case, a simulated 500 pound bomb, we come in, assess the crater, uh, then uh, start working on it immediately, remove some of the materials that are around the crater, smooth the crater out and start backfilling it until we get the final finished product that, you'll, that they're working towards right now. They'll uh, take the uh, vibratory roller and those types of things and smooth it out and, and turn it into a very smooth surface and then we'll bring what's called a FOD cover, foreign object damage cover and uh, that's uh, some of the guys, it's a fiberglass mat and they'll slide it over top of the mat and that way we can uh, uh, facilitate uh, takeoffs and landings of several types of aircraft. Now today we've been over here in Baden doing a lot of training on our, our specific skill sets, but also the firefighters uh, have been working over in Charlotte. President John Martin, I'm a crew chief on uh, rescue and crash trucks at the uh, Kentucky Air National Guard. So there's 22 of us came down doing some pit fires uh, this weekend. Use our vehicles and our hose lines for uh, modulation training, which is trucks circling uh, aircraft extinguishing fires and uh, getting our guys some training as far as uh, hand line and nozzles. Uh, we got a few new guys, um, A1Cs and senior airmen that uh, don't have as much experience with this. It's really good training. Um, it gives them the chance. We get, we get a lot of training done as far as um, non-fire, hands-on training, but this is a chance for us to get down here, see some fire. They give 100% all the time and, and part of that is the excellence that's been instilled in them, core values. And one of the things that Kentucky talks about is unbridled service. And if there's uh, anybody that exhibits that, I'm, my guys, I, I feel like they put 100% in all the time. They took time out from their weekends, away from their families, and they come here and they perform. The engineers finished another successful training weekend in anticipation of the 123rd Airlift Wing's operational readiness exercise next month. With the Kentucky Air National Guard, this is Air Force Staff Sergeant Jason Ketterer reporting.